I'm Chip Rome with the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, and you're watching In the Know. Today we are at the Consular Area Career and Technical Center, and we're going to be talking to some of the faculty about exciting things that are happening here at the school. Joining me is Shauna Little, and Shauna is actually the Workforce Development Coordinator for the Consular Area Career and Technical Center, and we are here in her office, which is beautiful. Thank you. It is. Yeah. It is. Courtesy of Appalachian Creativity Center, this gorgeous mural behind us. Yeah, they did a great job with that. They did. Talk a little bit about what's happening there. It goes to different seasons. It's Connorsville. Oh, it's fantastic. Listen, I say I might not have a window in this room, but I have the most beautiful office in the district. They did it seasonally, so it actually flows from spring through winter, and they actually did buildings in the city of Connellsville. Wow. And we have the Yawk River as well. Yeah. We asked them for a career road, like a career your pathway road and I got this so yeah. I was blown away this is my fifth year in the district wow. and I couldn't be happier yeah well we're gonna talk about a project that you were really excited about that the community really came around and supported there was a need here you want to talk about what that need was and oh absolutely how the community met that need yes so about a month and a half ago, I noticed that our school store was running really, really low on tennis shoes. And you're probably thinking, well, why does a CTC need tennis shoes? Well, for those of you that don't know, we're a comprehensive CTC. And comprehensive means that we offer academics as well as our shop programs. So our students actually come up here all day. They can take their academics as well as their shop. So Mr. Briner is our phys ed teacher, and they're required to take gym class. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our students, they need steel-toed boots for their shop. So a lot of the times, they might not have tennis shoes. So a requirement for phys ed, obviously tennis shoes. So they'll come down to me and say, hey, Dr. Little, do you have any tennis shoes in the store? And a lot of the times, I'm the go-to for the tennis shoes. So I noticed that we were basically depleted. So I just put on my Facebook page, hey, you know, do any of my friends have any old tennis shoes that they're looking to get rid of? I could use them up at the CTC store. Well, lo and behold, Mayor Greg Lincoln of the city of Connellsville shared that post. And about an hour later, it had been shared a hundred times. And let's just say that my page blew up <laughs> with inquiries, donations. So that's how this whole thing got started. And you got so many shoes that you met the needs that you had for this <laughs> building. Plus, you were able to share those, I believe, right? Oh, it was fantastic. I mean, you know... We collaborate so often in this district, and Jamie Balecki Quinn, the guidance counselor up at Connellsville Middle School, she had already had a caring closet in place. Mm -hmm. They serve as a food pantry, and they have clothing items as well for their students in need. And I asked her if they might need any items, and she was like, absolutely. So we took a nice van load up to Jamie at the middle school, and then anything that we didn't really think was maybe middle school or high school appropriate that might have been like for an adult, we were happily ready to donate to community ministries. So I've actually taken two van loads down to community wow. ministries in Connellsville. Yeah. So. so you were blessed, and you were able to bless others, too. And, and I'm familiar with what Jamie does at the middle school through the caring closet. Uh, yes. Armstrong, through our Breaking Bread initiative, actually helped provide them food and bags and things to help oh, with that. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's always a big collaboration. Like, for example, literally today, I had a phone call from Jamie. She has a student in her building. I have a student in my building that are related, and she's sending me food down later for that family. So yeah. that's just one example of how amazing this district is. We work together. We always have each other's backs. To dive a little deeper in the, in the gym part of it, if they didn't have the shoes, they can't participate in gym. If they don't take gym, they can't pass, I'm guessing. Exactly, this, right? Yeah. You have to at least participate in dressing as part of that participation grade. So yeah. we want them to at least have the clothing. Because, again, our district, we're rural. Right. And this isn't just the CTC. This is our district in general. You know, we're rural. A majority of our students, and not all, I'm not speaking to everybody, but yeah. we are a low socioeconomic district. Right. And we want to help our students as much as possible and if we can provide them with some of those items, then absolutely as a community, we want to do that. Yeah, and the community did. It's, oh, it's great. I yeah. mean, they Good job, up. community. Yes, thank you, <laughs> community. You guys, I mean, rose to the occasion. Yeah. Now, in addition to getting tennis shoes for the store, I know you, you have a big part of your job here is to help, actually help these students to find careers. You want to talk about how you do that? And sure. I know you're successful at that. So, <laughs> Thank you. Well, I would love to. So a huge part of what I do, I'm really the liaison between our building and the community. So I belong to a lot of different committees and civic organizations within Fayette County. And that really gives me the opportunity to network. And 
I'll find out what is going on out in the county, who needs workers, what are the different jobs that are open. And then I'll come back and tell the students, hey, this business is hiring, let's get a resume out there. And a lot of what I do my day to day is one on one with students in terms of resumes, cover letters, filling out job applications, and mock interviews, helping those students feel comfortable, helping them prepare for real world work experiences. So I do spend a lot of my time one on one with our students in the building. Yeah, And helping them find careers based on the education they're receiving here. So oh, it, absolutely. It, I mean, our shop teachers do a phenomenal job. I mean, we have 13 programs of study mm -hmm. in this building. And what that means is that they are getting trained for a specific trade. Right. And we will graduate them with multiple certifications. So they can actually graduate and again changing that stigma there is a need in some programs for post-secondary education but not all yeah. i mean for example in cosmetology if you meet the hours and you pass your state boards you can actually graduate and become a licensed cosmetologist in the state of pennsylvania for zero dollars yeah. so that's just one example but we want to give them the opportunity to go out and make a living here in our community. And I believe this is that's going to become easier with all the infrastructure spending that's happening right now. I mean, as these students are, some are, will be graduating this year and some within the next few years. So you have all those needs for carpenters and uh, welders and things that they're learning those skills here. Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah. if you take a look at the high priority occupation list, not only in our county, but in the state of Pennsylvania, all 13 programs in our building have at least one occupation on that list. So wow. not only are we preparing them, but we are preparing them for jobs that are actually in demand. Yeah. So that's what I feel is success. I think that is a success. And good jobs too, jobs with benefits, jobs that have pay a living wage. Absolutely. You know, and getting that after you graduate from high school. Right? Yeah. With no debt. Yeah, yeah yes. that's, that's an amazing part. Something I noticed a few years ago that you started to do at the high school when their students get a scholarship for sports, they do like a signing. And there's a picture of that in the, in the Daily Courier that shows them with the athletic director and their parents. Yep. And I think that's really cool. But you started to do that here at the CTC for the students as they get these jobs. And I thought that was so cool. You want yes. to talk about that oh, and how yeah. that come around? That's one of my favorite things that we started. And unfortunately, the last few years, because of COVID, we haven't had it. But I'm hoping we can resurrect that this year. I hope you can, it's too. It's called CTC Signing Day. So I kind of stole that from yeah. another CTC. Okay. I saw it on Facebook, right? We beg, borrow, and steal. <laughs> we don't reinvent the wheel. Right. But what it does, it celebrates students that get jobs in their field. Mm -hmm. And what I want from that, what our goal as a CTC is from that, is to change the stigma, right? It's not a college for all mentality anymore. Right. It is what do you need to be successful? It might be some post-secondary training. It might be a certification here at the CTC, or it simply might be that CTC education that you got, but the goal is that real world job. Yeah. And I'll tell you, some of those signing day experiences gives me goosebumps talking yeah. about them. Having the employer come, they bring their swag, right? I remember we had a girl from Nemecolon who got signed up. She was going to be a chef. Uh -huh. And Nemecolon brought their HR department and they brought her a t-shirt. And it was a really proud moment for that student. Yeah. And those are the experiences that you want to give your students. And that's what we strive for here at the Connellsville CTC. And that's why I'm really glad you brought that up. That signing day, I think it's something that we need to continue to celebrate because our students, I think sometimes, they don't have those moments mm -hmm. and we need to celebrate them more often yeah. and they deserve those moments you know absolutely yeah. and because those jobs are just as important as and you're talking to a basketball coach remember yeah as <laughs> athletic accomplishments academic accomplishments because again that's a real world job that they can use to support themselves in the future yeah Joining me now is Bill Guest, and Bill is the Building Trades Instructor here at the Conservative Career and Technical Center. And Bill, good to have you here. I guess good to be with you. Yeah, nice to be with you. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. We are in the space that is your store here at the CTC. Uh, if you don't mind, share a little bit about how this store works and, and what happens with the store. And All right. The store, um, it was established in two 2019 through a grant through Fayette County. Um, Dr. Little put this all together mostly, um, planning and uh, um, we'll mainly sell soft drinks, some chips, snacks, pretzels, things like that. Okay. Um, in the, the store, the kids do a great job with the store. Um, they stock it, they inventory it, let Dr. Little know what needs ordered. Whenever it comes, 
they'll unload it, stock, you know, the cabinets, keep the refrigerator stocked and the show, showcase is stocked. So okay. um, also the cash register, they, we have a couple students who can show me how to run a cash register. Yeah. So the clothing that is behind, I see clothing and I see tennis shoes. Uh, and as Shauna talked a little bit about the shoes, right? How does that clothing and how do those shoes benefit the students here? Um, we have some underprivileged students. In fact, a lot in our school. Um, mm -hmm. All of most of the shops here require special boots, special shoes, even gym class. Uh -huh. um, some of the kids, you know, were struggling to even have a pair of athletic shoes to wear for gym class. So anytime the students need, they can come in. If they want to donate a dollar, that's fine. If not, if they need it, they're more than welcome on my part to take it, whatever they need. So if there's a need and it's here, it's theirs basically. Definitely. Yeah. And and the public really stepped up. I know that it was put out there on Facebook by Dr. Little Mayor Lincoln uh -huh. um, about donating items that we could use. And literally, we sorted through probably thousands of pairs of shoes and clothing that were donated. Yeah. And, um, you know, but what we didn't use, we passed on to the middle school. And then from there, it ultimately got donated to community ministries and even the homeless for Connorsville. So. Yeah. so a lot of people benefited from that. The students benefited and then went to some other places for that too. Correct. Yeah. Well, Bill, I appreciate your work that you do here. It's great that you're able to help these students and help prepare them for a successful life too. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I'm Chip Rowan and now you're in the know. Can I have a Dr. Pepper, please? Yeah. Thank you. Is that good? <laughs>